Welcome back. I'm going to solve um, two of these as a sample, number five and number six. So for number five, I have 7x plus 42 equals 196. I draw this line in the middle just to help me remember when I'm moving things to the other side, I need to flip it over. So positive 42 becomes negative 42. And I'm moving numbers with my numbers and leaving my variables by themselves. 6 minus 2 is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. 1 minus nothing is 1. And then I'm going to divide out the 7. So I don't need to use a negative 7 because I'm not subtracting or adding. That leaves me with x. 154 divided by 7. Well, I know it would go into 15 twice and then 14 twice. So I believe it is 22. Now for number 6. Number 6, we have 5x plus 11x equals 128. The variables and the numbers are already on opposite sides of the equal sign, so I don't need to flip anything to the other side, but I do need to combine like terms. 5x plus 11x is 16x, and now I need to divide by 16 to solve it for a single x. which is 8. For problem 1, it says use the diagram shown. Find the value of x. So I know that in a triangle, the sum of the angles in a triangle are 180 degrees. So down here in part B, what angle relationship did you use for part A? I used what's called the triangle angle sum. You could also use the sum of the remote interior equals the exterior. It's up to you. You can solve it and get the same answer regardless. So I'm going to work with the triangle. So I have an angle that is 50 degrees, an angle that is 38 degrees, and an angle that is labeled with 5x plus 2. And I know that the three angles inside that triangle have a sum of 180 degrees. I'm going to combine my like terms, so all of the numbers that are on the same side. 2 plus 38 is 40, and 40 plus 50 would give me 90. The variables cannot be combined with the numbers, so they stay separate. I have a variable on the left, so I'm going to move all my numbers towards the right side. Ninety minus ninety is zero, but I still have the five x. One eighty minus ninety is ninety, and then I'm dividing both sides by five, which is eighteen. In class, we are going to do a game where the cards have a question on one side and an answer on the other, and you have to create like a chain to get from the starting card to the finished card. It says for each card, describe all angle relationships used and write and solve an equation to support your answer. So you'll have to solve it, but you want to write the equation and the relationship that you used to solve it. So it's a little sideways here, but this is what the start card looks like. And so the start card has the question we just answered. And then we would line up the next card 
with it because its answer is 18. That's what we just solved. Now we get to solve this problem and look for the next answer. So I have find the number of degrees in the measure of STR. STR is this angle here. I see that I have a 90 degree angle from this little square in the corner, a 39 degree angle, and an unknown angle. I'm going to call this one T. And those together would equal 180 degrees. So I'm combining like terms. That would be 129 plus that T angle for 180. And I'm going to move this over to the other side. And T equals, we'll borrow, 7 minus 2 is 5. T is 51 degrees. So now we'll look for the next card. And there's a card that has an answer with a 51 on it. And our next question is here. It says, find the number of degrees in the measure of angle 1 if L and M are parallel. So I know that this angle is a straight angle with this one here. So those need to add up to 180. Ten minus five is five. Nine minus two is seven. Seven minus six is one. One minus nothing is one seventeen. So angle four is one seventeen. And these are alternate exterior. That's the relationship with angle one. So angle one is one seventeen point five degrees which if we look is the answer here. So then this would be our next question. We're gonna end here. If you would like to play this game, you can ask for these cards from your teacher. Just make sure that your warm up is complete in your workbook as well as problem one.